Physical transformations for young NBA players are vital for them if they want to be able to compete with the big dogs. Coming into the NBA, Kawhi Leonard was that prototypical long-armed yet skinny kid who had some fundamental skill, but not necessarily the strength to stick around with the best. Well, over the next several years, Kawhi simply put in work and has since transformed his body into being strong enough to compete defensively against point guards all the way down to centers. So how did he do it? Well, you'll find out today because we're talking about Kawhi Leonard's insane Hercules diet and workout. Before we get started today, don't forget to help us out by liking and subscribing below so we can keep bringing you content like this. Without further ado, let's talk about the claw. After two seasons at San Diego State, Kawhi was a raw product, but he was already being touted for his physical profile. His huge hands, long wingspan, and persistent energy was appealing to most NBA scouts, as they saw the potential in him as a defender. He was even pretty strong for a college player, but to move on to the next level and guard the likes of LeBron James, he would have to put on some more muscle. Now, 10 years later, Kawhi is one of the sturdiest wings in the league, allowing him to switch off onto nearly any player and still have the upper hand. So let's get into how he did it, starting with his diet. Seeing someone as dedicated to improving their game as Kawhi Leonard is, it is no surprise that he is just as dedicated with his diet. In an interview with GQ, he talked about his ability to eat with more purpose now that he was in the NBA, compared to eating whatever was available in college, saying, Being in college, you don't have the money to even get organic foods or eat only organic vegetables, organic drinks. You really just go with what you have in front of you. We ended up eating a lot of fast food. Obviously, the NBA is different. This is a professional job, and they want you to play at your highest level. So I've learned a ton being with the Spurs just about basic nutrition. And while his knowledge on nutrition changed during his transition into the league, his means of getting meals didn't at first. Kawhi talked about his preference for home-cooked meals, and lucky for him, his mother moved to San Antonio with him when he was drafted, and he was able to keep getting his mom's cooking. Along with the move, there was also a lockout that year and a shortened season, meaning Kawhi could really focus on reworking his diet coming out of college so he would be NBA ready. Even though he was still enjoying his mom's cooking, NBA players have access to top-of-the-line nutritionists and personal chefs, so they have to take advantage of having them. Kawhi talked about the importance of having a nutritionist, especially when they're in the midst of a big road trip. Even people who don't play basketball know it can be way too easy to eat unhealthy takeout when you're away from home, and Kawhi isn't any different saying, you definitely have to be focused in on it, but it's difficult trying to eat something that's good for you on the road. We usually have a nutritionist who will let us know what we should eat and what we shouldn't eat from the hotel menus. She looks all of that over for us throughout the whole year. And what Kawhi has really taken away from this is to stay away from the pork or beef options. He typically elects to stay with grilled chicken or fish whenever the opportunity presents itself and a big pile of vegetables to start. A pretty routine and unsurprising diet for an athlete, but that's for a reason because it works. In that same GQ article, Kawhi talks about how not only does he eat healthy on the road, but he buys local too. He talks about how, too often, players go to big chains like Subway or Chipotle when they're on the road, but he likes to find the hole-in-the-wall places if he needs to grab something quick, something that has more fresh food than a chain like Subway. But beyond the food itself, Kawhi says he's not too strict on his meal regimen. He doesn't eat a specific allotted amount every day, and in fact, he often skips breakfast. Although, if he does end up having breakfast, he'll typically eat an ultra-healthy egg white omelet packed with protein. He also makes an emphasis on never eating before a game because he doesn't want to be weighed down, adding, You got guys in the locker room who will be eating a whole sandwich or something. They want to feel heavy, I guess. So, for the most part, Kawhi's diet is a pretty straightforward healthy diet of mostly organic foods. The only thing he seems to take to the next level is actually his water consumption. As he said, Watch the type of water you're drinking. Not all water is great for you. I drink a lot of water during the day, but I stay away from certain waters because their pH levels are low. Stick to alkaline waters with a higher pH, trust me. But higher pH water and a protein-heavy diet is only half the battle. So how has Kawhi's workout routine made him one of the sneakiest strongmen in the league? Kawhi's workout routine contains a plethora of workouts, training his whole body to be sturdy. On Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's all upper body, doing dumbbell bench presses, curls, shrugs, front raises, and hammer curls, along with some tricep workouts as well. The results can be seen in Kawhi over the years, especially as he started reaching stardom. It really seems like when Kawhi hit the point of being a superstar with the Spurs, he was at his peak physical form, showing off shoulders of granite and beefing up his arms so his huge hands didn't look as big. That probably wasn't the reasoning for the arm workouts, but it was definitely a side effect. Kawhi's defense and solid frame can really be exemplified by his core though. He's quick enough to stay in front of defenders and strong enough to not be pushed open like saloon doors. 
To get his strong core, he does bicycle crunches, planks, Russian twists, oblique crunches, weighted sit-ups, V-ups, leg raises, and so much more that it gets lost in the mix. His dedication to the sport can be shown through his dedication to his own body, as Leonard has always stuck to this routine and never really seemed out of shape on the court. There is simply no quit in Kawhi. Coming off the Spurs championship in 2014, where Kawhi won the finals MVP, he still wasn't taking a rest. The team allowed each player to take the Larry O'Brien trophy home with them for a few days during the offseason. But when it was with Kawhi, it just sat in his apartment because he was out doing three-a-day workouts. Mind you, this is right after they won the NBA championship. In fact, stories about how strong Kawhi has become have been circulating around the league since his days in San Antonio. One such story stemmed from an incident where Kawhi was somehow stronger than the weight machine he was using. Apparently, there's a machine in the Spurs weight room that they call the yo-yo, which is basically a way to do super squats. The exercise is supposed to be grueling, but it was no problem for the claw, as he was doing it with ease. So, the trainers added a steel plate, which created a downward force two times Kawhi's body weight. Apparently, Kawhi even did that with ease, but then there was a sudden crack and everybody stopped what they were doing. They all looked down toward Kawhi's feet and the metal platform he was standing on had cracked under all the pressure. When a Spurs staffer talked to NBC Sports about it, he simply said, too strong for it further proving the point that Kawhi Leonard might not be human. His strength can be seen on the court, too. As much as we praise his defensive abilities, Kawhi is an offensive star, too, and part of that comes from the balance between being a great jump shooter and maliciously attacking the basket. It's maybe not quite like Zion or LeBron bullying to the rim, but defenders do bounce off Kawhi when he's going downhill. In fact, when he and Warriors big man Kevin Looney collided in a game, Looney ended up fracturing his collarbone on the smaller Kawhi. Golden State's assistant coach Ron Adams talked about Kawhi's strength, saying, He's got great physical power. When he goes for a loose ball, it's like, boom, he's there. So, with all his dedication to working on his skill and fundamentals, Kawhi has officially added, Guy you don't want to get in the way of, onto his resume. So, that's it for today. What do you think about Kawhi's diet and workout? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to see more content like this, and have an awesome day.